So what muscles should you foam roll if you're a sports-specific athlete? For the runner and the cyclist, it's an easy answer. The quads and the adductors are probably going to be most tight on those people because of the fact that they are so quad dominant. So they are always using their quads. So most likely their quads are going to be most tight. So let's go ahead and demonstrate how to foam roll your quads. So when foam rolling your quad, make sure you start on the top of, by the knee all the way up to you, where your hip flexors are. So if that means cutting the roll in half, so starting by your knee and going halfway and rolling that for about a minute or two or 10 rolls and then going from the midway point all the way up to your hip flexor, that's acceptable. Next, we're going to demonstrate how to foam roll your adductors, which is the inner part of your thigh. For the adductor, you want to start by the side of the knee and roll halfway up. Do this for about 10 rolls or for about one or two minutes, and then take it midway all the way up to your groin. Another muscle you should be foam rolling if you're a cyclist or a runner is the IT band. Keep in mind this is not technically a muscle, but it is a tight band of fascia that tends to get extremely tight from running and from cycling. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate how to foam roll your IT band. So you wanna leave your feet stacked like so if this is bearable, or you could bend one leg to support yourself and to take some of that pressure off of that IT band. You wanna start by the side of your knee and roll all the way up midway. And then you wanna start midway and go all the way up toward your hip. Remember, whatever you do to your right side, you do to your left. So if you're a runner or a cyclist, rolling your IT band, your quads, and your adductors is a must. In these sports-specific athletes, these muscles tend to get extremely tight because of the constant repetition. For the typical desk jockey, the person that sits most of the day, you actually have to be foam rolling as well. Just because you're sitting at a desk all day doesn't mean that you shouldn't foam roll. Sitting alone causes major tightnesses throughout the body. So if you do sit a lot, rolling your quads, rolling your IT band, as well as your glutes is go going to help you a ton. So I'm going to demonstrate how to foam roll your glutes. So I'm going to start out on my right side. I'm gonna place the foam roller on my right glute and I'm gonna cross my right ankle on top of my left knee. Remember, a to keep body alignment so my hand is staying underneath my shoulder and I'm shifting my body weight toward the right glute. We're hitting glute medius now and we're also hitting the piriformis which tends to get super tight just from sitting. The piriformis is also a major cause for sciatica pain so it's also pretty important to roll the piriformis if you experience sciatica pain as well. We're gonna go ahead and switch that right ankle on top of the left knee. And now I'm going to position most of my body weight toward the left side. If this is extremely painful and you don't feel like you can move much because of the pain, sitting on it alone will help break up that tight fascia and all those tight muscles. For people who sit, I also emphasize rolling the adductors. 
which is the inner part of your thigh. So I'm going to demonstrate rolling the right adductor first. So I'm going to place the foam roller vertical while keeping my forearms down, my elbows are right underneath my shoulder and my opposite leg is gonna be straight out behind me. So you wanna make sure you start on the side by your knee, rolling about halfway up, and then take it from the halfway point all the way up toward your groin. And that's how you should foam roll if you're a sports-specific athlete.